my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing Pretty Little Things Wide Foot Shoe Collection. But yeah, I'm super excited for this one because I actually got clothes as well. I thought it'd be fun to do like a style the shoes with me sort of video. So I bought a bunch of clothes. Just for reference, I'm a size 14 at the moment. But yeah, if you're like me and have wide feet and wanna know if they're good, if they're bad, if they fit right, then keep on watching. The packaging is quite cute. It's like this black box, pretty little thing, fashion, beauty, lifestyle. I don't know, quite cute. It does look a bit like janky, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, these are the boots that I'm so excited about. <gasps> I'm literally dead. How cute. I don't know if this hairband is annoying. Should I take my hairband off? Let's take that off. But yeah, love these shoes. I don't know what I don't know what print this is. Is it crocodile? I don't know. Okay. My camera decided to cut me off, so I don't know where I wasn't explaining these. But yeah, these are the cute croc croc print. And I think I'm gonna start with this like a kind of like an oversized shirt sort of vibe. But yeah, I'm gonna try this on now and show you what I think. I'm editing this now and I look an absolute hot mess, but just ignore the way I look. Just future me coming in really quick. Um, but yeah, these shoes did not fit. I forgot to kind of, I say at the end, but I forgot to say. So first one is an absolute flop. They did not fit, they wouldn't go over my foot. So let's move on to the next pair. Second up, much smaller packaging. But these are so frigging cute. They're like little mules. They've actually got a stretch on the inner part as well, which is really cool. Kind of hard to show you, but basically there's like stretch in the top part of the shoe. Um, but yeah, really cute like suede mules. I feel like these look quite comfy and they do look quite wide as well. So we'll see what these look like on. Um, just a side note, I am a seven for any of you like wondering what size I wear. Okay, so these are the mules. Honestly, they are the most comfortable heels I've tried on so far in this series. Like honestly, I could wear these all day. They're so cute. Um, they don't really go with these um, trousers that I paired them with, but I did struggle to style them, I've got to be honest. I think it's just because I don't really have a lot of outfits that match. Uh, but yeah, these trousers are from Pretty Little Thing as well. They are super cute, a little bit baggy around the waist. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what I love this outfit 100%, but I do think it's a little cute outfit. And yeah, I honestly love these shoes. Like, I think I'm actually going to keep these ones, which will be the first pair that I've kept across this whole kind of trying on wide foot shoe series. But yeah, they're so comfortable, guys. A little bit hard to walk in, but so, so, so comfortable. Also, I don't know if I said, but they all come in these little bags and it says pretty little thing on them, which is very cute. I do like these bags. I think they are made of plastic though, so not great for the environment, but we are dealing with a fast fashion brand, so I wouldn't really expect anything less. Um, so Perspex heels, I actually have had, oh sorry, my tap's fallen down. Um, I've actually had quite a bad time with Perspex heels, like a lot of wide girls say they like Perspex heels. I don't know, I struggle with them. But yeah, I got these out to try them. They're super cute, like I feel like they'll go with anything. Again, I feel like I say this in all my reviews, but you can see like some of the glue here. I don't know if you, I don't think it's focusing, but you know, you can normally always see glue with these kind of shoes. That is literally just how they're made. <laughs> Future me coming in again. This pair also didn't fit. They would not, just my toes did not get in the little plastic top bit so yeah let's move on yeah i'm so look how beautiful these are like i'm actually dead and they've got like all this detailing around the front like all this stitching oh i love like literally love these so much okay so i'm literally living for these boots but they are whew, so uncomfortable but i literally love them that much that i would honestly wear them i just they are definitely a dinner shoe. They are wide enough and they're actually okay around my ankles. Oh my God, I've got so much fluff on my leg. Um, yeah, I think it's because it's quite like elastic. So it fits my ankle, which makes me so happy. But honestly, look at that. <gasps> I love them. Like I paired them with these PLT black and white like joggers just cause I thought it was quite like a smart casual kind of vibe. But yeah, I love these. They're just, so uncomfortable but i think that has a lot to do with how high they actually are they definitely are wide fit though so they're just uncomfortable because they're so high oh my god i literally love these i am like dead these are so i keep on saying this for all the shoes i think i got like every single shoe in black but 
These are so pretty. They're like really small. They've got the wider heel tip as well, which I've been wanting to try on a shoe because I feel like, because it's bigger, it gives you more support. Um, yeah, really cute, like strappy. The only thing is they do have that little toe thing and I feel like it really hurts your toe, but we'll see. They're not super high. These ones actually look like they're made to a decent standard. Like, I don't know. They just look better quality than the other ones that I've unwrapped so far. So I'm very excited about these. They were really, really hard to put on. Like they are a little bit tight, but they are wearable. I've worn them for about 10 minutes now and they're not too bad. My baby toe does hurt a little bit. Uh, but yeah, these are actually so, so, so cute. I do really like these. Um, I paired them with these like slouchy kind of trousers. I mean, I don't know if they go 100%. I'm actually really bad at styling outfits. I didn't quite realize. They're so comfortable. Like they're more, to be fair, PJs, but yeah, I thought these would be really cute with this little heel. But I just think they're really cute. Um, and I wanted a pair of like kitteny type heels for a while. So yeah, these are a win for me, for sure. Okay, last but not least, the sixth pair. I really wanted to try out these trainers, okay, because they looked beautiful. They look massive. Holy shit, they look huge. Okay, I don't get how these are a seven. They literally look like a nine or ten, but we'll try them out. Love the detail. They're kind of, um, they remind me of the Adidas, don't know what they're called, Azarinos or something, I don't know. But they remind me of the Adidas shoes so much. I'm really, really excited to try these on. Really cute. I do really like them. I styled them with these cute grey shorts, which were from Pretty Little Thing, and just this little body, super chilled outfit. I do really like these shoes. They're just way too big. Um, so yeah, definitely size down on these. They're probably like two sizes too big. So although they are super cute and affordable, they're just massive, massive, massive. They definitely are wide fit. And I think they're a cute little cheap trainer if you want one. Okay, so that took ages. I kind of thought I was good at putting outfits together, but clearly I'm not. All of the PLT clothes did actually fit, which is kind of surprising. But two of the pairs of shoes didn't fit, and I'm really sad because this pair was like the pair I was most excited to try. But literally, I just couldn't get my foot in it. There's no zip. So it's like, there is elastic here, but there's no zip in the actual shoe. So... Yeah, I couldn't get these on, which is really sad because they're really cute. Um, and also, I couldn't get the Perspex on either. Like, these are not wide enough at all. Like, genuinely, not even half of my foot would fit in this. So, that's really sad. So, all in all, I actually think the shoes that fit me did actually fit quite decently. Um, but obviously, these two didn't fit. So, it's kind of like hit or miss, I'd say. Um, I think the quality in their shoes really differs as well. Like, some pairs look quite nice and presentable and other pairs like you can see glue like i mentioned earlier and they're just not very well made so i kind of think it's i think it's like random on the quality of shoes that you get uh, but yeah that's everything for today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye